From brown trees to really white food, we've got the most colorful news of the week on In Case You Missed It. All righty. White people love Chinese food. But Keith, did you know that Chinese people are not so crazy about white people food? I didn't know that. Yeah. There's a social media fad in China where people share their reactions to eating what they think of as white American food. Low calorie, tasteless, eat on the go foods like bagged salads or a sandwich made with one slice of processed meat and processed cheese on white bread with mayo. Uh. Uh. One Chinese commenter said that this food can drain the soul and the human warmth out of you. <laughs> but on the plus side, quote, he says, it helps you learn what it's like to be dead. Oh. Wow. I mean, they even prefer North Korean food, and that's large helpings of grass clippings and tree bark. Uh, yep. Been, By the way, done that. Yeah. one Chinese person who watched a colleague eat oatmeal with low-fat yogurt, half an apple, and a carrot for 10 straight years said, if such a meal is to extend life, what is the meaning of life? And my point exactly. I mean, you know, I think we finally found something in common. <laughs> between China and Southerners, <laughs> don't you think? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Burger Kings in Thailand invented what they must think is the ultimate American white people food. It's called the ultimate cheeseburger. No meat on it. It's a bun with 20, that's right, 20 slices of American cheese stacked up on it. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, cheesier than your dad jokes, Steve. <laughs> that's really bad. Well, where's the burger part of it? I mean, it's, it's just a cheeseburger. Ooh. Anyway, a lot of people are trying it once. And those whose mouths aren't glued shut and could actually talk said they probably won't order it again. Now, some won't order it because it's just too much cheese. But the rest, well, they're not going to order it again because they had heart attacks halfway through the first one. Oh, wow. Uh, mm. uh, speaking of a food that could kill you, a female Huck's criminal mastermind was arrested at a St. Petersburg Beach, Florida restaurant after she got into a dispute with a man and she threw a burrito at him. But she missed her target, and the flying burrito struck another man in the face. This wasn't your wife, was it? No, it wasn't. It sounds it like something been. she might. Sounds like it, <laughs> it could does. have been. She's here. I better be oh, careful. Oh, yeah, you better be careful. <laughs> there was a band in the 60s. I don't know if you remember them called the Flying Burrito Brothers. I remember them. Well, I think this is how they got their name, mm -hmm. this lady. <laughs> anyway, the police report didn't say whether the man who got beaned by the burrito, get that? See what I did uh, there? I got bean by the by burrito. I uh, didn't know whether the man was injured, but to be on the safe side, paramedics checked his cholesterol. Yeah. Anyway, the be woman careful. was charged with disorderly conduct <laughs> and had to pay $250 in bail. They hope that will keep her from making a run for the border. Oh. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, rim shot out. Yeah, good one. Please. Well, I don't know if you know this, but in Beverly, England, the city Christmas tree was still standing in July. Mm. Ah. Yeah, and here's what was happening. They were going to take it down, but they discovered that there was a wood pigeon who had built a nest in that tree. Well, you can't get rid of no, that. No, you can't, because no. wildlife laws there ban disturbing a bird while they're nesting. So they couldn't remove the tree. It stayed up until it got brown, and the sidewalk under it had dropped more needles than is on the sidewalk of San Francisco. <laughs> oh! Pretty bad. Some of you yeah. are just not catching up with yeah. that. Eh? They're just wow. figuring it out. <laughs> anyway, they couldn't remove the Christmas lights because the baby birds were so used to all the flashing lights that they left the nest and flew to Las Vegas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, by the time they finally took the tree down, it was August, and it was time to put the Christmas decorations back up well, again. Of course. So there they go. Finally, in our video of the week, we bring you some of the world's greatest magicians. Well, this be, may be the most amazing yet. Watch how fast this kitten learned how to make a coin disappear. Watch, this is just so good. Oop. Wow. Did you see that? I mean, this cat is so good at grabbing money and making it disappear that its owner named it Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, I think that seems like the perfect place to end this bit. But until next time, just remember, we read the news. So you don't have to. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. 
The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.